Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with Managing Users Settings with Group Policy. This is Windows Server 2016 environment. The objective of this lab is use administrative templates to manage user settings, implement settings by using group policy preferences, configure folder redirection. So you can always pause this video, look at the screen and always uh, read the scenario so you can follow along if you want to follow along with me and you want to use uh, pdf steps i can provide you so my screen showing you my email just uh, shoot me an email i, I can provide you a pdf step of this lab so let's see what we have we have here a windows server 2016 a domain controller a datum.com uh, the host name is LON-DC1 and the second one you can see from the middle of the screen is a client machine uh, which will be used for uh, testing purposes. So we will do group policy for users. We will test on the client machine. We will go and use several users. One user is uh, basically uh, uh, in the it ou and we will create some other users separately through powershell and we're gonna use those users you also can read the lab steps separately uh, at the bottom of this screen uh, for your convenience so uh, i left these uh, steps uh, with the lab so let's go and follow along what the lab steps are so you have uh, uh, admin uh, administrative uh, templates file already available under my e drive so you can go and download yourself also uh, it is available free online uh, executable you can just get it and download it so let's run this file first uh, i want to show you my group policy where administrative templates are so you will see some additional uh, containers coming into my group policy so i went into my group policy i am going to open this default domain policy currently this is my active directory which is my adatum.com domain now i am going into my group policy you also can launch it through gpmc.msc uh, expand your forest expand your domain and you will see your domain name adatum.com you can always see this available group policy domain policy which is a default domain policy you can add it and you can view through policies where you see administrative templates under computer configuration and also you can see administrative templates under a user configuration let's go and take a look so you will see some additional uh, containers right over here uh, regarding office 2016 I am going to uh, install this executable so you can also uh, again download and do it at your own so currently i do have available in my lab environment so you will see a different languages here uh, we know that we have to read uh, us english accept the agreement click here to accept the agreement just scroll down as a formality and click on continue You can save anywhere you want to. Just make sure that you are aware of the location where you are going to save because we are going to use ADMX file uh, for policy definitions uh, from our system root. So I'm going to save on my desktop. Once it is completed, you simply can browse to your desktop to get that file so files extracted successfully to your desktop you need admx file very careful 
be careful select all copy this is going into policy definitions folders under system root so go to your windows system uh, windows and policy definition so it should be under your windows in policy definition so hit p and you will see uh, alphabetically and paste this under your policy definitions folder and now you will see group policy has some add in options or containers for office 2016 go back to your group policy object and you can use now your group policy browse down to your user configuration once you add it but uh, we are going to make a separate policy first office 2016 setting that's the policy name which you are going to add it so you can highlight your group, group policy uh, object and you go right click on the desired group policy right click add it now we went under the user configuration administrative templates and microsoft excel 2016 you can look at around microsoft office 2016 just i am browsing around here look at the other options other folders so you see that these all folders came in uh, by adding our ad uh, by modifying our admx or, or i would say uh, policy definitions folder so just browse around look around uh, you always can uh, play around with the different things and always you can close whatever but it is just a browse around environment right now where you're looking for these all available containers so we are looking here uh, microsoft excel 2016 excel options you click on standard to make a view a little better and under your customize ribbon we are going to add a development tab for microsoft excel application whenever you edit a group policy i would suggest that read the information about the policy this is explanation about the policy then you can enable it to make it affected here we are looking at this policy where i said that we are going to modify this policy we want to see a development tab when we log on uh, as a member from any client computer or from any domain member so we can see development tab so let's go and click on the save button so where you want to save this all we are going to choose a location you can add any location so i am going to set as uh, it was recommended to save it your document on desktop so whenever you want to save your excel file you're supposed to uh, see uh, uh, option so where you can see one of the options will be uh, a default location whatever you set at this policy so let's edit the policy enable the policy and add the path so you are going to add a percentage user profile so this doesn't mean that uh, it will uh, be available for only one user so percentage user profile means uh, it will be available for anybody who logs into the domain so let's see that what a percentage user profile is and how you can see basically your profile so uh, very simple you can go to run search 
explorer just type percentage a user profile and that's all you need so this is going to give you your profile so the way you logged in so this is my profile i can always find a desktop folder where you see that we have extracted other files so that's how you will see that every user who will be a uh, domain member or who is logging from any domain member regardless uh, the host is a client or the host is a server a user will be able to see the option desktop so where he uh, or she has to go and click and save so this policy was under group policy object that's mean it will never work unless you link it so you have to go and link it to default domain that means it will affect for everybody now from now once you link it then it will start affecting once you update the group policy so that is how you update the policy i am on my client computer so i'm using my built in password capital p a 55w dot r d so this is a test from client end so we have only one client to test this uh, you could have under your domain maybe 500000 clients so if you did this under default domain it will go for everyone so i am going to do gp update slash uh, forward slash force so this will force the group policy currently i am logged in as administrator so i am going to test from a, a user account so no matter which user actually logs in even i log in as an administrator i supposed to get that policy affected for example you will see a uh, microsoft office 2016 document you open the document and on the ribbon you supposed to see development tab when you try to save your excel document uh, you supposed to see desktop option somewhere so here let's this is a, a default behavior so ask me later we don't want to update now I don't even know that I have an uh, internet on these computers or not, so I I didn't check it. Uh, we usually have internet on these virtual computers. So now you can open up a file, verify that the group policy what we have set up on the ribbon you supposed to see development tab. So so look at the green section on the top of the file before. uh this a uh, filter uh, button here you have a development developer so this is the policy so this indicates the policy is okay and policy is working so if you want to save this file we should have an option for desktop because the same policy what we configured actually is working now so that's mean the other option will be available so we will be able to configure the save the file in, uh, at our desktop but this is up to you if you want to save or not but once you browse you supposed to see multiple options and one should be desktop i can see from the right side on the top left i can see that so we are good we can cancel now so this is good group policy worked so we don't have to save actually but uh, simply you have to choose desktop if you want to save or you want to save to a different location you can do it for this uh, test purposes we don't have to save actually we simply can cancel it and we can close excel and this was the section 1 anybody want to take a small pause please do so then come back and look at the second section going back to my domain 
open up your explorer from the taskbar we are going to look for a powershell script under module 6 look at the script what it is telling you so you right click and open this is a straightforward script you are adding a new ou branch office 1 you are actually moving uh, three users into that ou you are making a new group policy and you are going to link that group policy to branch 1 ou that's all one two three four five six things that is you are going to actually do you can execute this policy so this, this is just an explanation that what exactly this script contains you always can edit and that script will open under your uh, PowerShell ISE. ISE stands for Integrated Scripting Environment. I am going to first enable my advanced feature to show my object tab where you can see where these users belong to. We have two Abbey. We need the Abbey which is under the bottom of that uh, option. So we need that Abbey. So account tab give you the login ID. We don't want this login ID. We are going to look for the account tab of the second AB A B B I. Okay, the one it says A B B I S. So that is the one we are looking for, and we also can see where this user resides. Under object tab, you have a location. Currently, this user belongs to ITOU. Once we uh, execute this script, this user will not belong to ITOU because a script says move from this location to that location. I am looking for a branch office. Uh, I should not find it because we did not run on execution of this uh, uh, PowerShell. So once you execute uh, with the PowerShell, yes. and click on yes and enter now you are going to see whatever you see in the script so i have done these all additional steps just to explain that what this powershell actually this powershell command does uh, currently we have to refresh it first and you see on the top under the domain you're gonna see a uh, branch office one container this container contains now uh, two users and one client computer you're gonna see that these all actually uh, objects in the powershell script so you should be able to find it now any object what you executed so this user was under itou abbi this was under itou if you go properties and look at object tab and you see that this user has been moved into branch office one uh, that is where we are supposed to see the other user is a different user we did not touch that user that was under sales or you just leave him alone look at one more time in one split screen what actually we had in active directory now what we had 
in our PowerShell script. Now you can copy the top contents, you can execute one by one uh, if you do not have those objects. So you always can go and customize the objects. Maybe you make an account AB1 or something. Account supposed to exist first in, in some containers where you can actually go and move it. So now you can see AD user AB is there and Logan is there. Logan Boyle and you have an AD computer LONCL1 that is uh, available now. Logan is a part of the domain existing user. So wherever this user was before has been moved under branch office one container. So you can always again I see that uh, I said that you can always look for those users, search under Active Directory, look for Object tab and find out the location where this user resides currently. So that's how I had this explanation. I know this was a little bit away from your uh, lab steps, but this was a concept clarification. So I want everyone to know exactly what was in the script and how can you read that script and how can you go ahead and execute that script at your own one by one. So this is the other thing what was done in the script that link GPO branch 1 to this location. So basically you see that you linked this GPO at desired location. So I am just on that location. I am going to copy the whole script on the notepad just to let you know if you want you can do like that or something like that and you can have this execution practice one by one from any domain where some users exist you can create users at your own anywhere in the domain then you start moving them through the script so uh, this is a, an idea that where you can build up some uh, hands-on knowledge so that's how i do as well whenever i need to build some hands-on knowledge uh, I do uh, work like that and I'm going to give you my concept what I use. So the whole thing was all about to understand the concept. We could make these all users quicker than uh, the time I spent on explanation. But the thing is that uh, I wanted to show you how this all works. So now this is a branch script what this script actually uh, does it will map a drive s as in same s drive i will show you and i will explain to you with a, a separate example i know this make uh, labs a little longer but uh, i i don't think that uh, we should care at this time about that option so go to your group policy which you want to edit and add a logon script. So this policy is under your guru policy object. Policy is already ready, uh, linked. So this will work for any user who resides under branch office one OU. So you look at under your user configuration policies window setting where you see the log on and log off scripts container. You click on the container, move on to the right side, double click on the log on and click on the show files. Under show files you simply can go and paste this script. You want to see the contents of the script, uh, you simply can uh, look at the script, right click and edit and run it. It's not going to affect or execute actually anything, it's just going to show you what is in the script. And I can replicate this command. Uh, the, the reason is that we do have a DC1, 
which is our host name of our datum.com domain and I do have a branch one folder which is a resource shared folder. Same concept I can use through my command line with a different drive letter. So let's do same concept with a drive letter M as in Mary and then N as in Nancy. So it should execute successfully. Watch this. All I'm doing is uh, changing a drive letter using same UNC path, universal naming convention. This is called a UNC path. Now I got my M drive, definitely. All right, so I am going to run same script again and change drive letter to N as a Nancy. So you should see at the right side of my Explorer screen under this PC, you will see N as well. It will be the same folder which is shared branch one. So now you see M drive and now you also see N drive. So we can disconnect that. This was just a demo. So this could make Again, I said that your lab longer, but I want to clear the concept. You simply browse and add this uh, logon script. Keep in mind only the user who belongs to branch uh, one, office branch one uh, OU or under this group policy will be affected. So we are good to test it. So instead of uh, waiting for a group policy that it works or not, uh, we just simply reboot. I can pause and reboot back so you don't have to watch my reboot. I can log in now as Abby. So Abby is the user name which we moved from ITOU to branch office one OU. So this policy is linked under branch office one. That's mean only the user who is under branch office one will see or should see S drive, S as in SAM. This is a behavior of your login. So we are happy you are here. Do you care about it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go and watch this. I, I can pause this as well, but uh, Sometimes you need to stretch a little bit. So do so. Let's start. So we're supposed to see S drive. Click on Explorer. Click on this PC. Bingo. I can see that. Okay. So if I can see, you can see and also look for the name of this S drive branch one. This indicates that this is coming from a script and it works. All right, again, if you want to stretch, take a pause, do so again and come back, come back with a, a third part of this video. This is a third part of this video. Going back to my domain, a datum.com. And this is my a datum.com domain. Branch office one is the OU we created. We are going to add a new group under IT OU. So this will be 
computer administrators group and keep in mind when you use group policy preferences add a group into local admin group you will be able to view that group from any member server but not from any client you will see that later on but just to explain to you that that is how uh, group policy works because we are going to work with the group policy preferences preferences is uh, something very cool very useful it is not at some point for few policies very secure but still has been used a lot in production environment so we don't need branch office one policy so if we don't need something we can delete it but this delete what we do right now this will delete a link because original policy is under group policy object so you are deleting a link not policy itself if you want to delete a policy you going to go to group policy object so that will delete so this is not going to affect anything except the link with branch office 1 ou you are going to create a new policy and linking that policy with your domain directly so this policy will go throughout the tree anybody logs into the domain will affect first we are going to create a a shortcut for users who log in from any client machine so this shortcut could be a command line could be a powershell could be a notepad so we are going to test a notepad shortcut you right click on the shortcut and you have to change the location uh, i mean the option on the top you see the option uh, which is uh, available by default uh, under action uh, update we don't want to update because we do not have any shortcut on the desktop of our client computers so keep in mind i am putting my email periodically just to let you know that i do have a pdf also separately if you want to follow along or if you have any questions so this is a name of this shortcut notepad where you want to place that notepad so you simply can use any location you want to all users desktop okay so this is going to go under all users desktop specifically is not under your profile once you test this policy be careful when you test it you will see that you may not see under your profile but it goes under all users profile it should be under that uh, under uh, basically on the desktop whenever you see this policy affected you will see desktop shows a notepad you also can use common tab the second tab and you can configure the option here as you like to run in logged on user security contest user policy action you uncheck that one and use item level targeting and you can actually look at the new items drop down because uh, we want to select a security group just look at these all options maybe you need all of these or some of these options later on but select a security group you can look at this ellipsis and choose whichever group you want to you can type the group name you can click on check name 
you can choose advanced option advanced button on the bottom we are selecting it so we, we are selecting here it at this time so whoever or whichever user is in the it group basically will be affected so that is the point so uh, next uh, portion will show you about a specific group if you want to have just only a group so this is uh, uh, itou itou contains a lot of users under itou and also a lot of groups there one of them should be it group this is your uh, mapped drive option if there is any other drive available for example or you selected before the way you did before previously uh, you will see that uh, you can uh, create a new drive mapped or you can actually do update so it depends the scenario what you have so you can always update action option so keep in mind this label as so you will you will notice that drive for branch office 1 will be shown under label as like the drive label so that will indicate it is coming from a group policy preferences so here again uh, not w s you gonna choose s in case if there is s drive already mapped it will be updated if it's not you always can actually change that action to new so under common item level uh, targeting you can choose again look at the option it all depends what option you're looking for Give me a second. Uh, sorry, I had to handle this quick bell. Anyway, I took care of it. Uh, we are continuing. So, uh, we were looking at the options here. We are going to select item level security once again. New item. and this time we are going to select OU organizational unit you can click on ellipsis you will see a list of OUs here we are going to look for a branch office one so we can scroll down from the bottom right side here you can uh, basically look at the screen here you will see available OUs in your domain under the search result button and we are selecting here entire directory if we have more than one domain we can search from uh, those domains or you can scroll down to select only one domain so far i simply can scroll down to look for a branch office alphabetically is actually is going opposite way uh, from z to a that's why uh, it looks like a branch office one is under the bottom of this screen so let's select that one and we are good click ok two times to get rid of this screen this is the dn or distinguished name of the ou what uh, you saw all right so this is the policy what we have selected this time we are going to add a group into a local domain administrators group for exam perspective uh, when once you test uh, this policy 
from a member server you should be able to see the group what you are going to add from a client you should not from here we don't have any member server in this environment currently only you can see a cl1 and you see a dc1 so once we test we may not see or we will not see this group so uh, the group is a local group local administrators group we are going to update this taking another group from active directory in order to make a member of that group by default domain admins is a group which is a member of a local administrators group computer administrators if you remember we created this group while ago check names and okay and click okay in the middle here and click on okay again if this sounds good so you see a group you see a group security identifier sid number in this box you can customize this further if you want to go from the item level targeting as usual we go and look for which operating system so currently our aim is to target only windows server 2016 operating system So this is the reason that we are not targeting every single client based on this group policy we are targeting servers as i said before from a member server you will not be able to see this group because we don't have a member server but we do have a client computer we are going to log in from client computer just as an experimental purposes but you should not be able to see uh, that because uh, this client is not a windows server 2016 or this client is not a member server this client is a domain member only so let's go and test uh, this as well couple of things you are going to test again always is a good idea to update your client computer if you set up a policy under your user configurations you should do gp update if you do under your computer configuration any policy simply go ahead and restart the computer we are going to log in as abby because abby is a part of branch office 1 ou it depends the policy uh wherever this policy is linked under that ou everybody will be affected if you link the policy with the default domain everybody is part of that policy here you see the drive available and one thing you noticed that drive for branch office 1 i said please uh, remember the label of this drive so once you see the drive for branch office 1 uh, that indicates that this policy is coming from group policy preferences not from your logon script so this policy is affected worked appropriately now uh, all users profile on the background you see the notepad is there okay this is not a, a percentage user profile so it should show under my profile but it is an under the all users profile so whoever logs in from any member should be able to see notepad on the desktop so everything actually worked appropriately now let's type c o m p m g m t 
that will launch computer management console where you look at local users and group under groups you will see a local administrators group this group should have domain admins and some other groups in it administrator admin domain admins but you don't see computer administrators as i said before that we targeted windows server 2016 so here you are not going to find the group which you are looking for as you uh, see the note says that the preferences setting only applies to servers not to the client so uh, this is not a member server this is not a windows server 2016 so policy worked as we see uh, from a mapped drive policy worked so we are good at this point again is a time to take a break pause and come back when you are ready for section 4 This is a section 4. We are going to redirect couple of folders. A very nice, good, very useful concept which has been used in a lot of companies for production environment. Very beneficial. So we are back on our adatom.com domain creating a new shared folder under our root drive c drive you can use the way you want to use to make a new folder but simply we are following the steps what they said you simply right click anywhere go to new create a folder name it branch one or redirect you can name it any folder but we are going to use the name branch one redirect we are sharing this folder with specific people You can add any user or any group you want to. So this everyone group is a default group. You give them a read and write permission. So this is a learning environment uh, at production environment you know that you have to be very careful and you have to add only the group which you are intending to add currently just we are going to look for this redirection policy so where we are redirecting this folder and who will be affected again you always have to see that policy is linked at what location under group policy object so this is a branch office one ou where you are going to create a new group policy folder redirection one thing more as you know now that whoever is under branch office one ou will be affected if you link this branch office ou with any other location or with any other container then that ou will be affected unless you link with a default domain policy for everyone here we are going to configure our a uh, user configuration policies and windows settings under a folder redirection we're going to look for documents 
and we will set up as basic setting for the documents at this time. And just read the bottom option as well. Create a folder for each user under the root path. You have to mention the path, which will be our DC one L one dash DC one branch redirect. So uh, we are using a UNC path. Universal naming convention. What you are doing actually is redirecting. Document folder under the shared folder you created, so you can monitor from any location or directly from the file server. Users actually do not have to be worried about the document folder because it is not locally anymore on their computers. You can also set other folders under the document folder. So you can follow the path for the document. Select the follow the document folder. So document folder will contain picture and also you can add one more or multiple more uh, folders. So uh, for the lab purpose, I am going to add music with the same option. Once you verify uh, redirection of the folder, you will see under that document these two folders as well, picture and music. So now we are done with folder redirection for the OU and for the group policy, which we are using branch office one. This is the folder branch redirect. So uh, user will uh, actually have a document folder saved remotely, no more on local computer. So when client one logs in as a user who belongs to branch office one OU only should be able to see document folder redirected. And from server, you can see that what was actually coming in that folder. Of course, you got to do GP update to have this policy affected because this policy was set up under a user configuration. This will uh, log off by force. Once you say yes, it will log off, then you log in back. That will refresh the group policy. Hit enter. So let's uh, verify that our uh, folder redirection worked appropriately. So I'm going to log in back as an Abby. As you know that through the PowerShell script, we moved Abby under branch office one OU. And this policy is affected for branch office one OU users only, which is Logan and Abby. But we need to know that to look for a document folder. So you see the document right there. 
you want to see the path of the document folder it is saved under branch one redirect abby abby's profile is or abby's uh, whatever uh, user basically you logged in actually so document folder got redirected into branch one redirect folder and if you open the document folder you will see two subfolders music picture so they followed the document path so technically we are good to go now and we are uh, successful to complete all steps everything worked appropriately uh, we had about 125 steps here uh, in this lab uh, but technically i might have added 25 30 40 extra steps in it so that was for some reasons because i always wanted to explain things in the lab so what we have done so far four different things in this lab we used uh, administrative templates to manage user settings we implemented uh, settings uh, for group policy preferences which is a very cool and new and good feature from windows server 2008 and after and we also uh, tested a lot of things and we also uh, did a folder redirection configuration and i hope you like this video i will continue uh, for windows server 2016 uh, video series uh, several more labs uh, i am going to uh, add uh, uh, several brand new labs also for identity management purposes that will include uh, active directory federation services active directory rights management services and active directory uh, federation services so those labs are well uh, high level labs very demanded and very uh, advanced level lab so uh, in case if you have any questions you always can contact me uh, related documents are in the drop box or you can email me for any other kind of related documents thank you for watching this video uh, this is inayat meer 